uh, you can put the ceiling back in later. I'm going to take a ceiling out. I'm going to uncheck default on the roof and finish ceiling values here. I'm going to set this to uh, uh, 12 millimeters. I don't care what this value is. I just want the roof to go where I want it to go. So there's things that you do in suite and in essentials and interior designer and landscape and deck designer just to get, since you don't have any manual roof tools, you have to work with the tools that you have. So click OK. We'll see what it that does to the roof. It might take a moment for this to update over here. OK, bingo. That's kind of what I was looking for. But extend on the first floor, what, uh, putting in that extend roof down, you know, might... I mean, it made some sense and so forth, but it didn't get the job done. This worked. <coughs> and I'm going to take this wall, extend it down. Now, see, it automatically went back to its defaults. As soon as I made this a, a room dialog box over here, then that room dialog box reverted to its defaults, and that's what this software does. <coughs> so we're going to take the ceiling out over here. <coughs> Uncheck a fault, and we'll set this to uh, 12 millimeters. Now, 12 millimeters, by the way, is just a figure that I picked out. I, I set it at zero, and I set it, it seems to work best <coughs> at 12 mil millimeters. I have no idea why. I'm just get, looking for a result. That should bring that back to the way it was. Now, now we've got a wall missing over here. And why is that? Let's take a closer look at that. We'll go over to this screen and zoom in. You can see that uh, this wall, this roof is going all the way into that wall, and roof planes are programmed by default to cut off walls that are below them. So now I've got a new problem to solve. But I think, generally speaking, we're getting closer to something you'll be happy with. So this is the next thing, and the, actually the final thing that I'm going to fix up here. And this is this is really not intuitive. If you know the software, it's intuitive, but if you don't, well then, man, you'd be in a suit. In the suit just means, is an Americanism, and it means uh, in trouble. Okay. Now, that's going to be involved in here. A lot of times, with, since you only have automatic roof tools, you have to think out of the box. Well, how can I make this automatic roof tool, you know, make a little uh, notch in there? And so I can have my wall back. You know, it's be, it would be drafty, and the rain would come in. So it's not not very workable. So what we're going to do is uh, zoom into this area, <clears throat> and these uh, doors and doorways, you, you can put those back later. I'm, I'm just going to delete them. It has nothing to do with getting the roof on. You can put that door back. Uh, you, know, you can copy-paste. Well, I'll show you how to do that in a minute when I get this other stuff done. So this is, this is kind of the problem area. This, this, wall is in, this wall here is in the wrong place for what we're trying to get done. And what you're trying to get done is a little bit complicated for this software, but it certainly can be done. I don't, I don't think I need the reference display on, so I'll turn that back off. It causes the little red lines, and you can see the walls above outlined in red. First thing I want to do is uh, chop this wall off right there. And uh, it's probably got a roof command in it, sure enough, full gable. I don't want full gable here. Why would I want a full gable on the first floor when the gable is actually on the second floor? So I, I don't want that. I want a high shed gable like this wall over here. <clears throat> so we'll click OK. You won't see much change here because this wall's in the wrong place. So I'm going to jerk it all the way over here. I'd call this kind of wall uh, <clears throat> a temporary wall or a wall specifically designed to, to uh, guide the roof generator. Let's hit F12. That's rebuild wall floors and ceiling. But are not getting any change here. I told you this stuff, software is kind of stupid. Let me drag it over a little bit more until it starts responding to the command I'm giving. Hit F12. Okay, I'm going to have to give this some more, some more help, the software some more help. It, <coughs> the software is very intelligently made, but it has absolutely no intelligence of its own. None. 
It's as stupid as a hammer. So I'm going to draw an interior wall over here. And it automatically gave it, you know, this, this name over here. I'm not really concerned with that. That's just what the software does. Now, this little room that I created in here, see this little sliver? That's an actual room. And I can program it. And I'm going to program it. I'm going to open the dialog box. <coughs> Excuse me. Go to the structure tab and tell it to have no ceiling and no roof. No roof. And click OK. See what it does. Bingo. Now it's building. Now I told this space in here to not have a roof over it, and it doesn't. And it allows my wall to come back. <clears throat> but you can see this roof edge here. Let me zoom in so you can see it. See these little green lines are the edges of roof planes. That's intruding in, into the house. Let me zoom in over on this other camera. So perhaps you, it's not really showing up that bad because the roof is covering up, covering it up. But you can see this piece of flat is coming in there and chopping into the wall. So I'm just going to take this little segment here on the end and break it off by using the break wall tool. So now this is a separate little segment that I can control. And again, it's, I'm just doing this to guide the roof generator because it's dumb. It doesn't, it can't read my mind. I have to do things which it's programmed to, to follow. So as I drag this wall over, you see the roof edge follows it. And ideally, I want this roof edge here outside the brick. I don't care about this door. You can put the door back later. Almost needs to come a few more millimeters. Okay, now it's clear of it. Now, if I get it too far, well, then we start getting some unsightly stuff going in there. So I'm going to use the control key, press the control key, left click on the move handle, and a little bit more, fine, finally tune this. A little bit more. Okay, it's right on the edge. And you can see it's creating a little uh, hip roof here. This little, see that little line there? Again, it's just following his programming. I'm going to pull this over here. See, the roof totally went away because I lost my room dialog box definition. They'll come back. Yeah. Okay, I think I might want to bring this back over. I just want, yeah, I want that roof to uh, kind of just graze. Yeah, that's, that's, that's quite a bit closer. And you can see that by moving this wall back and forth, you can tweak that. And you should until it looks, yeah, okay, that's good. <clears throat> I'll take this view and uh, we'll back up. And this is basically done in terms of what, what I understand that you wanted to do. Which, that means there's some detail. I don't know what you, you want to do with this building at all. That's your problem. Uh, but I saw the hard stuff. Now, when uh, I lost the, the uh, skylights here and here, but I've got an earlier version of the plan that I saved. Let's see. We'll, we'll go over here to uh, <clears throat> and open this one. And it's still got the silent skylights in it. I don't know if you know about this tool, but I'm going to click on that, press the shift key, and then hold the shift key down and left click on that, left click on that. That's called a selection set in the videos, in the training video. And we'll go up here and uh, <clears throat> edit, copy. And then I'm going to click on this plan. This is this, a different plan. And I'm going to go edit. Paste, hold position. And it should copy those. <clears throat> Let me hit F12 and see if that won't. Okay, it didn't work. Let me go to this plan here. And sometimes these things that are supposed to work don't work the first time. <laughs> That's another thing you need to get used to with this software. 
Okay. Now, these skylights don't go on this floor. They go on the floor up. That's probably the problem. They go on this floor. So now we'll go do that command again. Edit, paste, hold position. They should pop in this time. Yeah, there they are. And there they are there. Cool, huh? All right. Now we'll go down to this floor. <clears throat> and I'm going to go back to the other plan. I had control tab on my keyboard, which should bring up that other plan. I'm going to go to its first floor. Now I've got these skylights here. They're not very well aligned, but again, I, I, I clicked on one, press the shift key, and then click on the other to make a selection set. We'll go edit, copy, and then go to this floor plan, and then edit, <coughs> paste, hold position. And bingo, bango, they ought to, yeah, now they're in there. <clears throat> now, I just opened this plan to copy these skylights out of, so I wouldn't have to draw them again. You can just draw them again if you want to. Okay. And you can align, realign these any way you want. Now, I'm going to go back up to uh, build, roof, build roof, turn off that, cancel. I want to make sure that that command's totally uh, done. Oh, no, it's still there. I, have to, I guess I have to click OK. But see, even though it rebuilt, this, the commands that work are, are still in there. And now, uh, let's see. Yeah. Rook tools. Don't click here. Okay, now auto ro rebuild roofs is off. So now it's safe, <clears throat> relatively safe. Let me go back in here and get rid of these temporary walls. Now, I don't think you want a brick wall in here because I don't know your house, but uh, now I can get rid of these walls. And you see the roof doesn't change. <clears throat> That's kind of what I was looking for. <clears throat> now, you can put the, that brick wall back in there. You can put that door all that kind of stuff, as you choose. But I, the key to this is uh, working as the software is designed to work, and that's how it's designed to work. Maybe it should have been designed differently, but it, it, it's not designed differently. It's designed the way it is designed, and you work with the way it is designed. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope this is uh, of help to you and anybody else looking who's uh, interested. Thank you.